it do, man? It's your boy Jay. We back with another video, man. And today we got new 10 scary videos of ghosts caught on camera. So I think it's something good we can do for Halloween. It's coming up. It's not Halloween yet. I thought it would be a good idea. But um it's like two it's three o'clock in the morning, bro. But guess what? The grind don't stop. We up late night with it. So let's get it. Let's get it. I had to turn the lights on. I try. I wasn't gonna turn the lights off in here, but now you're gonna be able to see me then. Let's get it. Shereen Louise, a single mother of a three-year-old daughter, has recently moved into an old Victorian house in Cardiff, England. Soon after moving in, Shereen's daughter, little Ilea, begins to complain about a man with a quote bad head and bad eyes who marches oh, through shit. the upstairs hallway. What is it? Bad eyes. Bad eyes? Yeah. It's crazy because kids and dogs, well, kids and pets can see it. And, like, it'll, it'll, it'll creep you out, man. Bad eyes. Bad eyes. Yeah. Where? Upstairs. Upstairs. Nope. No, we're not doing this. Shireen decides to take a look into the history of the old house and discovers that it was built on an ancient battleground from all the way back in They always do some bullshit like that. The worried mother now believes that her daughter might be seeing the spirit of a soldier who fought in battle. Shireen installs a security camera in the hallway just to see what's going on. Then one night after dark, this happens. She heard it. Yeah, come on, I'm gonna help. <laughs> Mom, dead. What is it? Dad. What? Dad. Scared of what? Who is it? No. Is someone there? Yeah, I'm telling you now, we ain't trying to investigate nothing. We're gonna go get that um holy water. We're gonna build some bullets in it. We're just gonna shoot it. We're gonna spray and pray. Uh, we can't we can't go out like that, man. We can't go out like that, man. Two eyes. Two eyes. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. You're doing anything? What's he doing? Right, see you later, Mr. Soldier Man. Oh, it's a dope back up. Are you laughing at him? Is he being funny? Is he being funny? Is he being funny? That's good, isn't it? You're still looking at someone. Oh my god. She's... Oh no, please don't. Stop. Alright, okay. keep playing. Y'all ain't gonna stay there with him. Okay, sorry. Mummy, sorry, sorry, you just scared mummy. It's not scary. It's not scary. He's a funny friend, isn't he? He's a funny friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two eerie breaths can be heard loud enough that they are picked up by the hallway security camera. <laughs> Shortly after this, little Ilea once again complains about the man with the quote, bad head and two eyes. Shireen says that originally she completely fell in love with the charming Victorian home, but now has second thoughts about staying. She says she's worried about the safety of her daughter. So right. is little three-year-old Ilea seeing something that we just can't? You decide. Graveyard. This next like video that. was posted Shooter to stayed, the internet uh. by an account that is devoted to sharing videos of large boats and seafaring vessels. 
In one video, we see a graveyard of old cruise ships that have been run aground and left abandoned on a beach somewhere in Turkey. But there's something else. That's some big ass boats. Are they believe that shit abandoned? What's worse than ghosts, though? I ain't gonna lie. You find actual people on there, because that means they got intent. That's it. I'm just saying, you find actual people on there, you don't know how it can go. I don't believe a ghost with. A demon is different, but I don't think that's what goes with, like, do something to you. That's what makes I ain't, I ain't here now. I get back into it, man. Else, something that a sharp eyed Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted in the video. Watch closely. Oh, I seen him. There's somebody walking right there. That nigga big as hell. Did you see it? On board the rusting old cruise ship on the right, someone or something can be seen walking around inside. Oh, doing there, man. Even though the ship is completely abandoned, no one is on board, and there's not even any access to get on the ship. That boyfriend put that so bitch on the online mysterious market. figure be the ghost of someone who didn't survive their voyage? Let me know what you think. The Night Visitor. A woman named Shay works as an overnight office cleaner at a mid-sized company in Indiana. Shay says that she often works alone in the large office building and that this can sometimes get just a little bit creepy. But this one particular night... Hey, look, when I be on the phone working by myself, sometimes I be thinking I hear shit. And I have to remember, man, them goats sound like humans when they be making noise. Like, I swear to God, you ever been around a goat, it sound like a kid. I thought I heard some kids crying. I had I, I had my truck, my work truck crunk up, so I wasn't really worried. But them goats out there be sounding like kids. They're just gonna scare you sometimes. You got that by yourself. Things are about to get absolutely terrifying. Yo, okay, so Tim while I'm at work and I was about to take out the trash and I just got a text from um the lady who um the lady who works here. And she said, hey, Shay, just want to let you know that everyone has left, so um, you can go back in the other side. I was like, okay, yes, ma'am. And she said, just me there? No, I asked her, I said, just me there? She's like, yes. Y'all, I'm scared as f Because when I went outside, there are no cars out there besides my work van. And I'm so f scared. So tell Shay. me why, if I'm the only one here, Tripping. That's somebody in that room, and they just sitting there. Oh, Ooh. what the f is that? Like, what that motherfucker turn around, Shay? Bro, I'm about to fing call because I'm like, huh? Which, and I just call her and, say, hey, and they got a bit back. The one here? She's like, Yeah, look at the cameras. You're the only one there. I'm seeing about the cars there. And I said, Someone is in one of the booths. And she was like, In the booths? I was like, Yeah, someone is in one of the booths. Why you keep repeating it? But you know I'm black, right? And I don't play that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, alright, I'm gonna tough it up and just open the door. Okay. Oh, hell, Shay. Mm mm. Nope. 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 Just gonna went to the kitchen. Hell nah, cuz. Uh uh, nope. Shay is supposed to be all alone in the building, but someone or something seems to be sitting in a chair pressed right up against a glass door at the end of the hall. They're not moving and they're not reacting. 
Shay hides in the closet, gathers Shay. her courage, and then heads out. Shay, I'm going to tell you. They got a lot of job opportunities on Indeed. <laughs> Shit. Shit. To confront the person, but there's no one there. With that, Shay has had about enough. She calls her supervisor to come check out the office building for an intruder. Or whatever this is. And Shay takes the back stairs and exits the building. But here is where it oh, gets shit. really weird because Shay's supervisor comes and checks out the entire building and finds no one there. Also, her supervisor reviews the security camera footage that monitors anyone entering or leaving the building. And whoever this person was, they never left. This person never showed up on any of the building's security cameras. We, we need scary right videos, this, so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Off the wall. In an email sent to me by Nukes Top 5 viewer Ricardo, music. he told me about a trip he and his brother took to the historic Fort of San Felipe in Bacalar, Mexico. On the trip, Ricardo filmed a video with his old Nokia potato phone. And he oh, and his shit. brother can be seen exploring the massive old 1700s oh, fortress. They accidentally catch something that they just can't explain. Somebody to look through the window. Did you see it? In a dangerous section of the historic fortress that's closed off to tourists, a strange brown figure can be seen on the grass and seemingly climbing or floating right over the wall. Now, I've carefully inspected this clip. I've slowed it down and I've even sharpened and enhanced the potato quality as much as I could. But I still have no idea what this is. Bacteria. So, I leave it up to you. The Royal Arcade. Nuke Stop by viewer and paranormal investigator Emma from the YouTube channel Twinvestigate UK reached out to us about a creepy video they captured while investigating the Royal Arcade in Keepley, uh, West Yorkshire, England. The Royal Arcade is an historic underground shopping center built in 1901. The upper floors of the Royal Arcade were eventually renovated. However, the dingy old underground stores and rooms were left untouched. These buildings with their dark history still look almost exactly the same as they did in the early 1900s. Emma says that she and her group were doing a spirit box session in what was once the shop of a horse saddler. In this area, the spirit of a grumpy old man named Billy is said to wander around. Man, what I'm happens be next Billy from life. is truly creepy. Make that bang again. Why do you want us to stop? Hey, he did tell you to stop. Man. Emma and her group are shocked to see what looks like a figure moving through a lens flare caught on their phone. The investigators try to recreate and even debunk what they captured, but they just can't reproduce this strange silhouette of a person moving. So just what is this? I leave it up I'm to you to decide. A dark park in the San Pedro Mall. Oh, Security shit. guard Johann Zimmel is working the night shift at the San Pedro Mall in San Jose. Co you like, man? Why did I? Why am I doing this this late, bro? This is the wrong time. Let's get Costa Rica. When he spots something truly chilling. Oh my god, the quality. Gerardo, fíjate detrás tuyo. Correcto, correcto, aquí salió algo raro. Mae. 
Véngase mejor. A security camera pointed at the mall's parking structure captures the moment a dark, shifty silhouette of a person can be seen approaching an unsuspecting man. The man turns around as if he hears or feels something, but no one's there. And the weird figure seems to have just disappeared into thin air. After the security footage was released online, many former employees of the mall came forward to share their own personal paranormal experiences from their days working there. Many of these former workers claim that the mall is haunted after someone passed away on the fourth floor of the parking structure. Lights out. One afternoon, Rachel Navarro is home alone in her New York City apartment. Due to maintenance issues, the power in her building has temporarily been shut off. And this is when things just start to get really weird. Oh, shit. Okay, hi. Um, sorry, I'm just watching something, but literally... Hold on. There's no electricity in our place right now, okay? Turned it off, but I swear... Shite. Okay, this door... Jesus. Oh, okay, I'm been doing this literally all day and look that's shite oh my god okay. hello oh hold on hold on i'm going out there oh that shit dark as hell hold on there's no light oh i turned the flash on because I couldn't see shite out there. I got my epic mace. Ah, uh, come on. It's on. Okay. Hey, mace are down, goes. Blood of Jesus. Jesus. Oh my gosh, Jesus. Okay, this door always moves because of the wind. I'm not really. Worried about that. Shit. Thought I was saying it's out. Hello? What's your life, man? Stay in your apartment. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. That. No, no. Rachel's front door is shaking on its own, and when she looks through the peephole, something can be seen moving around on the other side. She grabs her pepper spray and opens the door, but no one there. Just her creepy wow, pitch man, black man. hole. Then Rachel hears what sounds like someone breathing and whispering hey. in the hallway. Oh sh! Oh sh! Jesus! Understandably, she turns around and heads right back inside. As a new stop by viewer, Rachel decided to email us about her creepy experience. To this day, she still has no idea what was going on in her hall. No. But I remember when I was in college during a snowstorm. All our power had went out. Bro, and I say that building was pitch black dark. I'm talking about the rooms and everything. Like, there, like nighttime, you can't see nothing. Like, we had, like, they, they told us we can go sleep in the gym, but you can't even sleep in there because niggas are not still hooping. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. They not, they on pull the goals down and hooping. Can't even go in there and sleep. They had cots and uh, So I just stayed in my, like, me and my roommates, we all stayed in our room. And the, screw me. And the most hectic part was trying to eat. Like, bro, the calves, they were giving out plates. It was nasty. We were going through it, boy. It was fun, though. I ain't like, if y'all haven't experienced college, I don't know how it is now, but when I was going to college, it was fun. Vacancy. This next creepy video was recorded at a with, small man. hotel in the desolate countryside of Mexico. Now, for years, the staff working at the hotel have witnessed and experienced unexplainable activity, usually when they're all alone. 
One day, a housekeeper notices someone standing at the window of hotel room number 30, even though the room should be vacant and completely empty. The oh, housekeeper shit. immediately notifies the hotel manager, but they find no evidence of anyone inside that empty Look room. That, mirror. that is, until later that same day. Aquí más cerquita. Aquí más cerquita. Sí, miren, ahí se ve. Se oh, ver una cara, shit. Unos ojos. Vamos a ver. Hell no. Nah. Vamos a ver a esa habitación. Estamos subiendo las escaleras porque este, ah, desde ahí es donde estábamos viendo que se veía. Aquí ya no se ve nada, a lo mejor por el reflejo de la luz. Y vamos a ver en la habitación. Y bow. Aquí está la cama. Que pues, esta es una habitación pequeña. Aquí pues no se ve nada. Y aquí está la tele donde está, donde estábamos. Donde se supone que estaba. Pues papá, me like, honey, bang. Te digo, papá. ¿Por qué estoy? ¡Ah! As the manager approaches the hotel room, a pale face with hollow eyes can be seen peering down at her through the hotel window. Ew, bro. The manager hurries upstairs and into the room, but she discovers that the face are... Alright, first of all, she did not hurry up no stairs, unless she just got bad feet or something. She took fail to get up there. But that's disgusting. They might need to be the thumbnail right now. That does. What? I don't know. That might need to be a thumbnail right now. Whatever it was has disappeared. But then something moves, making a loud sound and sending the frightened woman rushing right out of the room. Now the hotel staff believes that they have caught have evidence that their night. small hotel in Mexico is haunted. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Open area. In a flash. There's a lightning storm just outside Amanda Knowles house in Iowa. She looks out her front window and notices. Hey, all them up north states. I don't want to go to none of them. Man, I be hearing so much. Oh, I be seeing so much stuff on TikTok. Boy, we going on like that. I don't want to go up north. They can have it. Something truly bizarre. Please tell me y'all see this. Just watch. Watch straight out into that yard. Look, you see it? Look. Oh shit. And it happens again. Look. Look, look. See? See? Even the dogs know, man. And I'm telling you right now. Ignore my dog. But look, man. Let me tell you. We'll get you a Glock. Get you some holy water. Dip them bullets in them bitch. I don't know if it's gonna work, but one thing about it, it's better than not having it. But guess what? If you're still out there after you shoot that gun, you ain't happy. I think it's time to move. A strange white figure can be seen standing in the grass across the street from where Amanda lives. But whoever or whatever this is, it appears and then just disappears as the storm rages on. Some viewers of Amanda's creepy video wonder if the electrical energy in the air could have somehow helped make a paranormal presence visible. Hmm. But whatever this is, Amanda says she is spooked. Well, I wish they had some iPhones to record the where everybody had been using in. Samsung Galaxy paranormal 2. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the, the allegedly haunted old Baraboo Inn located in the scenic city of Baraboo, Wisconsin. The inn was built in 1864 and functioned as a tavern and a brothel. Over the years, the seedy inn became a regular hangout for many underworld figures like Al Capone and other notorious gangland criminals. Over the years, it is said that many people fell victim to the inn's sinister clientele and many men and even women have lost their lives here. Today, the old Baraboo Inn is said to be extremely haunted especially in the basement where it is said that many men were chained to a pole and executed by the mob. That pole still stands today, a remnant of the building's horrific past. So, investigator Ian decides to spend a night at the inn, 
planning to investigate all the paranormal claims. It's still early into the night and Ian is exploring the Baraboo Inn's bar area when things start to get a little... Let you know now. I barely like to stay at other people's house. I know I'm not staying though. Spooky. Are there any spirits? What, what do you think? This bar tonight? What you think? Oh! Oh, boy. I thought whatever this is right here, bro, I thought that was a ghost. I thought that was a ghost right here, bro. Hanging out at this bar tonight? I heard this place is supposed to be really haunted. Could you show me what they're talking about? The stories of strange things happening? Okay. I'd like to see it for myself. Okay. Is there anybody here that could do that for me? Oh. I'm almost sheeted the brick. That sound came from over there. That scared me. Hello? If that was you, could you make that sound again? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm hearing all kinds of weird sounds in here. Ian continues his investigation and heads into the inn's kitchen. But what happens next is truly bizarre. If there's anyone in here, could you show yourself? What the f was that? <laughs> I didn't say that. Hello? Oh, holy sh! Oh my god, something just got thrown. What the hell was that? Look at that. What the f is that? Oh my god, that's like a spoon. It's on the floor. Like, how is that even possible? I don't know. I don't know how to explain any of this. You know, so Everything that is happening answer. to me right now is far beyond what I was expecting from this place. Ian is freaked out as kitchen utensils can be heard moving on their own and a ladle is thrown onto the floor. But the worst is still yet to come because next Ian heads down into the basement, the most actively haunted area of the old Baraboo Inn. This is the room. Oh God, there it is. You see that? That is the pole. The execution pole. If the mobsters took you in this room, you knew you were done for. Just imagine what would be going through those victims' minds as they're being dragged into this room and placed here. And if you look closely here, you can see all the different bullet holes. You see that? There's a bullet hole right there, right there, right there. They're just all over this pole. And those are blood stains seeping through the paint. You're better than me. It's super tense in here. <laughs> I bet. It sounds like somebody's down here with me. Who's out there? Oh God, holy shit. I don't know how much more of this I can take. It's coming from this room. Again. The pole room. It's three o'clock in the morning. Well, four o'clock. And I'm doing this shit. I can hear you over there. I know you're down here. I don't think it's the same spirit. At all. I'm kind of getting that heavy, bad feeling again. 
If you're one of the mobsters, make another sound. Oh, oh, oh God. Jeez. That is the last spirit I want to encounter right now. Could you do it again a little louder? Hi. Oh, holy. Oh, my God. That was a black mass. Okay, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. But it's a freaking dead end over here. I can't get out this way. Ian is terrified as he sees a dark shadow-like figure move near the infamous execution pole in the basement. He's able to calm himself down enough to follow the dark figure, but he finds nothing and no one to explain what he just saw. Soon after this creepy event, Ian decides that he's had about enough, and he just heads home. You can see this full investigation with many more scary moments over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. All right, man, let's get out of that mask. Get out of that. Cool. That was it for this one, man. If y'all like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm finna go to sleep. Well, I'm finna try to. Finna watch me a little um, SpongeBob or something. Another clip of my mind. I might need to go by the stove right quick. <laughs> Get early in the morning. I don't know. But if y'all want more of these videos, let me know. With that being said, double influence. Y'all.